You know what's really annoying about this is that I'm staring directly at the screen right now, but it looks like I'm looking at like a five degree angle, like over here constantly. I'm not. This is also me looking like in the corner of the room, not uh, not directly sideways. I don't know what's up with the angle of this webcam. <laughs> Uh, but so it is. Uh, hey, it's Tyler again. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time for a couple reasons. Um, and one of those is just that I realized that talking head RPG type videos, I've got a lot of opinions there that aren't shared by a lot of the people making videos, but there are so many, um, people sharing the RPG YouTube space now that it's just, I looked and I was like, is there anything I'm bringing to this other than me? Is there anyone who cares about this other than people who already listen to me? Like, should I be recording this and making videos for it? And I thought, eh, not really. Um, and then the reason I haven't made a lot of HEMA videos recently is because, well, <laughs> haven't had a camera for them, haven't been running them over the break with people being out of town, uh, visiting family and whatnot. Um... And just generally, the filming HEMA is really, really difficult. Um, you know, you rig a GoPro to someone's mask, and then every other bout is... And then your GoPro's, you know, looking at the sky, and you gotta stop it, and... It just doesn't make for very good viewing. Um, I say as I'm making a really lazy talking head video... <laughs> but you get the idea. I do plan on doing more than the, uh, of those videos, especially now that uh, the Stillwater Fry Factor uh, is an official uh, group, uh, an official club organization at uh, Oklahoma State University. Uh, come check us out, even if you're not going to the university, if you're in the area. Um, it's been so far a real chance to test my instructing ability um and improve myself of course uh, especially on the wrestling front of things um i really only have the treatises to work off of um because my high school did not have a wrestling team uh my uh, Karate Dojo obviously didn't do wrestling. We did sweeps and the like, um, but, you know, it's it's really just look at the treatises, find out what's going on. And I want to do more videos on that because that is one thing that not a lot of other YouTubers, even in the HEMA space, are doing, are looking at the, the ring and, and the ring... Um, German wrestling, especially, uh, any older folk wrestling, um, you can see some really interesting stuff in the, uh, Glasgow fact book as well, um, with people doing, you know, like, reverse, like, donkey mount knee bars, crazy stuff, um, and, you know, the, the differences that you have between the, uh, friendly and non-friendly wrestling, um, I think that's a really interesting thing to look into, so I hope that we will be able to find a decent uh, recording setup for that and do videos on that. Um, on other videos, yeah, I, I do like doing these talking head videos. Um, it's nice to be able to get thoughts out and get them on a video and then be able to look back and go, really? Do I still believe that? Or go, no, yeah, I totally believe that. <laughs> or just be able to point people to, you know, uh, a video, um, and not have to repeat yourself. <laughs> Just put the burden of time entirely on the other person if they're trying to get into an argument with you. Um, but one thing that I think I'm going to start doing videos on more, uh, because one, they're easy, and two, because I think there's a real market for them that's saturated, but it's saturated by crap. Um, and that's, uh, product reviews. Uh, specifically stuff on HEMA related uh, things. Um, I have had a Bauenwehr by uh, Todd stuff of Todd of Todd's Workshop uh, for a little over a year now, uh, maybe a year and a half. And I'm really interested in doing a review on that because I love that knife to death. But it does have some issues. Um, and a lot of those issues are entirely related to shipping, I think. 
unfortunately, the British Post sees a knife in the mail and... I don't... I have no idea what they did to it, but it did not arrive in the best shape. Um, and the edge has taken quite a bit of damage, but... Uh, Overall nice. I'll leave the rest of that for an actual few, full review. Um, but also other general product reviews. Um, my hobbies are pretty multivaried. Um, you can see in the back... Oh, God damn it. You can see in the back there the uh, Yes Album Relayer. Um, I recently got an Audio-Technica AT LP60 turntable. Um, quite nice. I really like that. Um... Got a new air fryer. Yeah, right side this time. Bitch. Um, yeah, clearly I own an air fryer. Um, but yeah, I've noticed on a lot of these products, um, product reviews are everywhere online, and most of them are god-awful. Uh, you'll look up a review for a product, and the top results will all be either... One star, because of some, like, freak lemon accident, or because they straight up didn't understand how to use the product, or because they bought the complete wrong thing, uh, or because it was legitimately, you know, not a good product. Uh, or five stars and, like, a single word, and then everything in between. And it's like, how do I know that I can trust this random dude online? Well, you probably can't. Um, because websites like Amazon and eBay uh, will do absolutely nothing to prevent pe uh, companies from uh, just saying, Hey, I'll pay you 20 bucks, Mr. Uh, intern, if you uh, go and write a review for us. Or... I don't have it anywhere. Um, I have this uh, HDMI to uh, composite video cable converter uh, that I bought. And coming with it was a give us a review on Amazon and we'll send you a $20 gift card. And the thing is, the product was fine. It was a good product, but I still couldn't do that because that is just, it's borderline a bribe. To be fair to that company, they didn't say give us a good review, they just said leave a review, but it was heavily implied that, you know, like, ooh, leave a review, boost our algorithm, and it's like, no. There's a dearth of honesty and also just good product reviews. What do I mean by good? I'm going to take my glasses off here because this uh, glare is really annoying me. Um, I'm looking in the video, and I don't particularly need to be able to see right now. Um, and you look up video reviews, right, for products to get a better idea, and there are a ton of great, um, people doing video reviews of stuff out there, uh, but again, I find they've run into one of two problems. Either the video is eight hours long and is super in-depth, but they don't give you a too long didn't watch. <laughs> Matt Easton, um, I love... Scala Gladiatoria so much, but there are some, there are so many of his videos where I'm like, oh my god, okay, yeah, I'll watch that later, I'll watch that when I've got, you know, a free weekend, <laughs> um, and then you have the opposite end of videos of, oh, it does the bare minimum of what it said it would do, it's a great product, 10 out of 10, and it's like, mm, you're spending, you know, however much, you know, hundreds of dollars on, you know, the expensive kitchen equipment or expensive audio equipment, like, give me more than it works. <laughs> like, and, you know, a lot of those people are, you know, sponsored by the very things they are reviewing, which is... is a conflict of interest. And as, at the end of the day, as long as you're honest with we are audiences. Yes, I'm being sponsored by what I'm reviewing here, so take keep that in mind. Um, that's great. But, yeah, it's just... Trying to look for a lot of stuff. Um, audio equipment. 
Um, food. There aren't a lot of reviews on food stuffs, particularly like monthly subscription box stuff. Um, that isn't, ooh, I got sent this for free. It's so good, like I said. Um, I've actually bought a few of them, so I'd like to do reviews on those, um, knowing that it's either my own pocketbook or someone else in my family gifting them to me and from their pocketbook, um, rather than just the goodwill of, oh, it's there. There's also a lot of people doing great reviews of RPG stuff, but almost exclusively from the perspective of someone who is... <clears throat> a 5e player. <laughs> uh, and I was going to say no offense to 5e players, but I I don't really care if you take offense. Uh, it's a game, if you're having fun with 5e, then keep playing it. But at the same time, uh, if you're having fun with 5e, you're probably going to rate almost every game really, really highly. If it's not difficult to play. And there's room for that. Right? Um, ease of access is a desirable quality. But I don't think it's the only quality. Um, the amount of people I have said, Hey, I'm playing a Shadowrun 5e game. Or I'm running a Shadowrun 5e game. Would you be interested in joining? And then they go, yeah, that sounds super fun and cool. And then they come by and realize, oh, Shadowrun's a completely different system. You didn't mean D&D &D 5e. And I just sit there thinking, yeah, how did you think I was going to do cyberpunk near future setting in 5e? I mean, why would you do that? Why would you completely reinvent the system from the ground up when you have all of these other systems? You have Cyberpunk, you have Shadowrun, you all, you know, 50 different editions of Shadowrun at this point, what, sixth? Um, you have Traveler, um, Starfinder, if you really wanted to. I know some of these are more far future, but you get the idea of Sci Fantasy is a. It, it's not a, uh, there's not a drought in that genre. So yeah, it's, hmm, it's really weird how people gravitate towards that, you know? Um, but yeah, so look forward to some product reviews, um, specifically on some Hema gear, but also specifically on, um, or in general on, you know, whatever random bullshit it is I'm buying. Because I think, uh, you know, uh, being more informed is never a bad thing, even if it's some little video that, you know, 30 people are going to watch and 25 of those are only going to watch the first 30 seconds of. I also just have fun ranting and rambling about, you know, things I dislike. Any of my friends can tell you that. But yeah, um, maybe look forward to that, uh... I'm really making this video mostly to motivate myself to make more videos because, man, it's just a pain in the ass to make videos. Even if you're not editing them like these, because you just have to sit here, open OBS, get OBS to start functioning. Normally it does very well. Set up your microphone. Make sure your audio levels are great. Do your recording. Oh, well, there's this big gap of random rambling in there cut that out. Well, no, don't cut it out because that's, that's who I am. You know, I'm not going to edit this for people's attention spans. Um, oh, okay. Now let's go upload it onto YouTube. All right. Your upload speed, it's being consumed for like hours. I don't know why you can make like a 25 megabyte video and YouTube will sit there and process it for actually hours. It's like, what is it doing? And of course, you, any, you know, other YouTuber, even ones with millions of subscribers can tell you, you can email YouTube back and forth and they will not tell you a damn thing about how their website works. <sighs> it is what it is. 
Well, anyways, I hope the new year is finding you all well. Uh, take care. And now I'm going to stare at the screen and realize I can't actually see the stop recording button. And I don't remember what the hotkey for stopping my recordings is, so I'll put my glasses on. And now I will actually wish you a happy new year. Uh, take care.